By the end of this video, I want you to be able to tell the difference between a chiral object and an achiral object. So I'm going to show you an object, like this matchstick, and its reflection. And the question you have to ask yourself is, is the object identical to its reflection? In this case, the answer is obviously yes, so I put an equal sign. And our next object is a lighter, and there's its reflection. And by rotating the reflection, we can very easily see that again, the object is identical to its reflection. Now moving on to some kind of hypothetical molecule. We have the object and its reflection. And again, we can very easily see that the object is identical to its reflection. Now changing one of the balls to blue, we ask again, is the object identical to its reflection? And the answer is yes. So changing another of the balls to blue, we ask again, is the object identical to its reflection? And again the answer is yes. Changing another of the balls to yellow, With a little bit more rotation, we see that the object is identical to its reflection. So changing the final ball to purple, we have the object and its reflection. And what I'm trying to show you here is that there's no way that I can rotate the reflection of the object so that all the colours are in the same place. In other words, the object is not identical to its reflection, and this is what chirality is all about, when the object is not identical to its reflection. So we have another object and its reflection, and there's no way that I can rotate the reflection so that those two objects are the same, so they are chiral objects. We, again, we have some made-up molecule, and this made-up molecule is achiral. And finally, we have the famous example of hands. And my left hand is not the same as my right hand, which makes my hands chiral. So, to sum up, a chiral object is not identical to its reflection, and an achiral object is identical to its reflection. Okay, so I hope you now understand the difference between chiral and achiral objects. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be making lots of biochem and neuro videos over the next few months.